Dear Diary. So, it's pretty much Wednesday. It's 6 and 5 a.m. at the morning. It's the 28th of August. And it's, uh, sorry for the grace of the So, my day, my day has happened to be, well, progressively and surprisingly to be a bit more, you know, not super better, but decent. And I mean, hey, I guess uh, any progress is better than nothing, right? A small progress is better than no progress at all, am I right? So what exactly happened? Nothing much aside of waking up at like 5, 5, 7 p.m. or something. Because I kind of have overslept. And overslept was my... was my wild the daydreams. Like I wish I could have had most of these dreams and to become actual dreams that I can dream about. But oh well, it is, uh, it is what it is I guess. Not a lot of people can get dreams when they sleep. So pretty much, uh, all what I did was just uh, getting ordering online from a different type of restaurant which really wasn't that good nor it was that bad it was very meh at best but then yeah it was food I guess and while I was doing that I was pretty much getting myself back a little bit into some into a few games that I used to play. And one of them was Sonic Mania Plus. And I'm not talking about that horrible Netflix port. I'm talking about the decompilation Android port. And I'm not gonna lie. It still plays pretty well, like how Sonic Mania should, you know. And I was even, and I was able to put in some mods in, put in my mods from my PC copy on there. And yesterday, I've got. I've gone back into playing uh, Sonic 3 Air and yeah and still lives on with its list of mods and stuff and then uh, and I've gone to my hopped into my laptop pretty much got him back and got him myself into two of the old Sega PC Reloaded games and one of them was Sonic 3D Blast and the other was Sonic and Knuckles Collection and of course at Naval to mods in oh my god like Sonic stuff Sonic and Sega stuff in the 90s was pretty crazy. Like, especially Sonic and Knuckles collection. Like, back in the day, you have had the Sonic 3 and then Sonic and Knuckles, and later on the Sonic, the Sonic 3 and Knuckles lock on technology. And what you get? The entire experience of Sonic 3. And knuckles. Then 
you get the you get that collection on the PC. And if there's one thing that they have completely fucked up, it is the music. Official MIDI synthesized uh, synthesized version of the entirety of the Sonic 3 and Knuckles soundtrack. And they even resorted to probably the shittiest things that they have ever done, which was removing the MJ. The MJ's, the similar, the similar MJ musics, and replace them with some generic stuff like Knuckles C. They're gonna completely butcher it. And since that it's on MIDI, it's worse, you know. But with mods and Sega PC reloaded and stuff, it is actually quite playable enough. And I really wouldn't mind the low down sample quality of the Genesis sound effects. Because that kind of adds to its charm, you know? Then there's Sonic 3D Blast. It is almost a one-to-one -one, uh, Saturn port, except that the sound effects are way, and I mean way too high. Like, <coughs> sorry. Like the freaking sound effects are way too high. That I've had to literally mod it. With the, with the Genesis sound effects. And surprisingly, it fits way too well. And the special stage, bruh. It's like they would, it's like they literally put in the Genesis sprite the Genesis special stage sprite along with the along with the pretty horrible horribly cheap made uh, cheap made version of the of what is supposed to be Sonic Heroes' footing to special stages. But then other than that, there's nothing else, there's nothing to complain about. And of course, can't forget to talk about Sonic CD. And it is almost one to one with the, with the Sonic, with the Sega CD original. Not to mention, you can even mod its music. So like, yeah. Then you've got Sonic R. And believe me, it plays like much better. It plays way better than the Saturn. Believe me, believe me, I have tried playing the Saturn port like a few more times but the turns and the controls they just feel extremely heavy like very very heavy it's really unplayable you wouldn't even be able to get past the first stage like Sega fucked up Sonic R so hard on the original Saturn with the controls but then it gets to shine so brightly on the Sonic Gems collection and the PC port and put mods uh, put the mods options with it and it's 
as complete as it can ever get, really. It is as great as it gets. So like, in short, my day has actually like passed by pretty decently. Pretty decent than the last few days. And of course, I have finished up this as a Sailor Moon Super Game Gear game. <laughs> it is very simple as fuck, you know. There is a Chibi Usa mode, but honestly, I can't even get myself to play that. Because I mean, I have played that before and the ending like it didn't even it didn't even get Chibi Usa to transform into Super Chibi Moon nor even got her nor even got Chibi Usa to freaking fight um, you know fucking Kauri And then, at the end, the side was like, Great job, kid, but I'll take it over from here. <laughs> so he just gotta play the... He just gotta play the soggy mount. And believe it or not, like I said, it is very simple. Really straightforward. Like... It's not... It's not that... It's not very... It is well it is very easy but not but also not that often also not that simple I don't know <laughs> it is very simple and very easy and believe me there wasn't even an option to up the difficulty the game is difficult. This is literally the game's base difficulty. So, like, yeah. It is honestly as um, good as it gets. And of course, got it myself to patch some more, patch some Genesis games into. The MD Plus to get some good soundtracks. When I was even trying out the uh, Winulator's latest update, and surely that latest update didn't really do that much. Because literally lots of games do not work. Like, I'm not even joking, they do not. Like I've even tried testing out the Tomb Raider remaster, and it pretty much showed up a window for a few freaking seconds, and then it closes. Not working at all. And literally, I've tried some other games, old, new freaking fan games and they just still don't work even tried to say a PC reloaded stuff and the only game that literally worked on there was fucking Sonic 3D Blast like literally Sonic 3D Blast is actually working <laughs> but not Sonic CD nor Sonic R, nor even like Sonic and Knuckles. Like, wow. It's like Winulator's got some real special conditions that you have to freaking fulfill. 
And no, I'm not subjecting myself to fucking Exegear, because Exegear is as fucked up as it can ever get. And the fact that I literally gotta set up a very huge, and I mean a huge fucking, uh, a huge freaking, you know, game controller thingy over the keyboard and stuff, like my god, it's just a painful process. It is a painful process that I really don't want to get myself into. Like it is as painful as it can ever get. Should I play Undertale on that? <laughs> no. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Is uh Yeah. Like I'm pretty much um I'm pretty much slowly recovering and being okay. Although it is debatable whether I'm gonna still be like that or not. But the important thing is, I'm not really feeling that much of depression anymore. Instead, I have been pretty much getting myself around. And hopefully, uh, today when I literally get myself to sleep, and the next other few days and weeks will go marginally better, and just, you know, that entire freaking university situation to be completely resolved. And whichever comes fucking first, you know, like the online universities uh, having to get back to frick fucking Egypt and live with my uncle, or I'm gonna have to stick to my old university at frickin' Egypt, but I can get to frickin' study at Saudi Arabia, and when the time the exams come in, I would have to get back to Egypt. So I can take the exams. This, um, yeah, this is quite a shay situation that I'm in. And like I said, whichever comes first, that can finish and get me out of the situation for good, so that I can, you know, prepare myself and to, you know. Uh, to completely like, you know, get myself ready mentally for what's going to come in terms of education. Mm, yeah, what does, again, Whichever comes first, really. I just want to have this done with and to be able to continue with my life. I just really fucking hope that education this time goes like much, much more smoother. And much more better than every single other past year that I'm like I really wish that I can you know 
that I can be able to understand things much better, to be able to memorize stuff you know, much better, to be able to store more info in my head, to be able to answer the exams like way much better than every single one of the past few times, you know? Like, for things to be marginally better at the freaking college, so I can just pass on with my life and to, you know, get myself going. So, yeah. Well, now I haven't heard any news about the online universities. And I just hope that, uh, yeah, all ends well. Like, whichever comes first, I really don't give a fuck anymore. But I really hope that after all of this, a huge fucker reward comes to me. Like, you know. Cause really, like suddenly you get freaking, you get the registrations and applying to college time getting closed in your face this sudden. Is a fucking complete, uh, a fucking complete nonsense. Complete fucking nonsense, really. And at this point, I don't really think that it's possible to believe in new lives anymore in new countries. Because I bet that every other country would be doing the same thing, maybe in an even worse way. But then some, maybe some other countries are not having, are not this strict when it comes to, you know, opening up for applying to universities and shit, so, like, in other words, like, I don't know what the fuck the other countries do, but I do know that this kind of situation is possible, it is to be expected at this point. Like, I guarantee if I, say, travel to freaking Surya, the registration for their universities would fucking end by the time I arrive. Or maybe, like, you know, it is still open. In any case, once again, whichever comes first. I just want this situation to be done with so I can get back to my normal self, get back to my old self, and be able to progress with my life, prepare myself mentally for every single day that I'm going to ever be in education, and to you know, hopefully, uh, get much better, get much better this year, and actually get some favorable and, uh, actual honorable marks that doesn't 
doesn't make me look like a fucking snail, you know? Education fucking sucks. And it proved itself to suck so hard during during my life, you know? During the course of my life. It proved that I should literally that if I have a chance or a power that can let me delete anything from the world, one thing. Like, if I were to be given a chance to delete one thing from the entire world, it is fucking education. And especially education when we are adult. You know, like when we are done at primary school, this is the part where I would fucking delete education, you know. Like let the education stay when we are when we are kids and then we finish primary school. But later on, we don't fucking need it. We don't need we don't need college. We don't need uh, high school. Like we don't need middle school. Just let us graduate fucking primary school and that's it. Literally. It could sound crazy, but I mean, college, like, fucking education sucks, bro. And I've been, like, fucking four years at its first year. Juggling from a fucking major into fucking failing it's here like conscious of fucking extreme joke oh well and what's worse is that if you done if you fucked around in high school then it gets to be the most unforgiving shit that you could ever get in your life. Like it doesn't even want, want you to forget about your past mistakes. Oh no, you get to remember them. Like a dog. There's pretty much nothing I can do about it. Like, there's nothing I can do about this kind of thing. Oh well. Here's to hoping that one day. gets better. And education itself and when it's time education could get better. Because honestly it is fucked. Like it is fucked. But, uh, we live in a universe. We live in a universe. Like, it's not even a society anymore. It's an entire universe.
Yeah. Maybe I'm just still a child that just can't wake up to reality yet, even though I keep saying that I have seen reality, I haven't actually woke up to it, I don't even know, but yeah. My days, uh, my days uh, became slightly better. And here's to hoping that uh, tomorrow and the next few days would become much better by the time. And things would go as they should. And that's pretty much about it. That's pretty much about it. I will end it here. Because I've got nothing much to talk about. Got nothing much to talk about. Actually, there is one thing I'm going to talk about, but I'm not going to get into it this much, which are my memories, like my late memories, in being in a summer house. Yeah. I have been kind of reminding myself a few days, for a few days about uh, my memory of when I used to be going on summer vacations, whether these summer vacations were to be with us, our relatives or by ourselves. And my last one was my relatives was kind of a no exception. It was, as a matter of fact, the biggest and probably one of the best summer vacations I've ever had. Like surprisingly, the best summer vacation. Like, uh, even though it was at the same place that we had visited last year and uh, surprisingly enough and this time we had our relatives with us and my grandma it was gonna begin to be pretty stupid but then honestly I don't know. It, but eventually, it didn't turn out to be so bad. Like there was a time where I would be going down to the swimming pool and swim around. And then to just sit down at the... And then to just sit down in the, uh, sit down by the ocean and, uh, get myself some pretty good fresh air. And would take some photos and eventually just swim around the ocean without getting myself, without getting myself too far though. Most of the time, I would just try and float myself into the water while relaxing and stuff. And, well, it was pretty good. 
And I can even remember listening to some of the classic Sega tunes, like, uh, like Japo, Japo Nisk from Shinobi 3, and, uh, Green Groove, and of course the Green Groove, uh, duology tracks from the center version of 3D Blast. Some of the Sonic R soundtracks. And I even... And... There was even this one time where I have been... Uh... Where I have sat on the where I have sat on the rooftop at night, and let me tell you, it was the absolute best. Like, I'm not even joking. The absolute best time. Like literally. And literally to combine that, like I've got my laptop up there, with the fan ready, and everything's ready. And then literally played some MK11 on MK11 on there, and let me fucking tell you, it was the best time. Like I'm not even kidding at this point. A great weather, seeing the stars and the moon, and the and the good view around the around the place at night. Holy shit, bro. It was the best. And every day from there was like a breeze. You know, it was like a freaking breeze. Although, its ending could have been much better. Because of, uh, because one time, my younger fucking brother has decided to completely run off, and literally got passed through everyone, you know, and we literally found him, and eventually Dan had l went to the beach, and found him completely naked, by the ocean, Oh my god, what a fucked up day that was. And thanks to that, we've had to literally pack ourselves and get the fuck out of here. And... It was the worst. But good thing about that, that I got to literally try out sitting at the freaking the freaking trunk of the car and that trunk of the car isn't any kind of trunk it actually did a good job being as a as an extra place to sit down in because at that time it was the car itself was four like there was my dad mom my two brothers and and my grandma. I've had to sit at the back. Uh, AKA is a trunk. And yeah. It was really something else. And not gonna lie. It was definitely the best time while it lasted. But then the end the end of it was completely the opposite. So but it was really something. And remembering this now and uh 
it kind of contributed on making me feel a bit better. You know? Kind of contributed putting me in a good mood. And I kind of doubt that I would be able to repeat this kind of thing again. Due to my freaking educational situation. And our new freaking country. So, yeah. But hopefully something happens and we get to have a summer vacation. And hopefully, well, when that happens, it will be the best. And no shitty endings this time. Yeah, I'm kind of beginning to feel a bit tired and infatuated. Mm. Well, I guess I could get that sleep now. Like literally a few freaking minutes ago before making this diary, I wasn't kind of sure if I was going to be able to sleep or not. Here I am. Well, that's gonna be about it. And here's to hoping that, like, from now on, things will get much better. I hope. Even though I'm not allowed to hope anymore, but there's gotta be at least. And five percent of hope that things will turn out to be the very best. And that's about it. <laughs>